Yes, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Welcome to our training. My name is Habib Umar Kasule, and I'm going to be your host tonight. Tonight we have our weekly training. We're always having them on Tuesday and Saturday. Welcome to our platform. Welcome our investors. Tonight we have Captain Milbus, our one and only, on stage. He is the man behind all the meetings, all the presentations, all the trainings, all the preparations for the meetings that Cash Telex happens to have. He is the man behind. He is well versed with the Cash Telex business and Cash Telex ecosystem, plus the Cash Telex exchange. And tonight he is going to be talking about the Cash Telex exchange, something new that you didn't know about he will be able to show you please allow me to welcome on stage mr captain milbus our one and only captain thank you very much thank you very much our investors yes captain you have the mic thank you so much uh, brother habib Mark Kasuli, for giving me chance to talk the congregation about Castellex. My fellow investor in Castellex, as well as a very passionate person about Castellex. So I'm proud to share with you the stage tonight. Yes, I'm here to talk about everything as usual. I want to start from, uh, from the scratch and then we access the account together. Remember, when you access the Cashlex account, you go to Google and then you type in Cashlex. Cashlex.com. Then you select asset backed cryptocurrency. And then wait. You can see now here the Cashlex asset backed exchange. Like we have been saying it every time and then, Cashlex is the only company with the asset backed exchange. My fellow investors, tonight we are talking about the money making machine for our company. Before we access the account, I want you to look at this side. Look here. Remember when you are looking, uh, just look. At this side, you see this point? CTLX stroke BTC. It is now 214. When I logged in at first, it was 213. And remember last time, it was 205, something like that. That means the value is increasing every time and then. If you are here, with small shares. If you are here with a few uh, shares, or if you don't have, this is the right time for you to buy or to buy, to buy more because the trend you can see the price now is increasing every time and then. So that I, was, I just want to uh, talk about that one in the very clear way that I can open the minds of those people with few uh, shares on the account. Let's go. We have the sign in, like I've been talking about this every time and then, because we are here to make each and every everything uh, user friendly. Like we told you last time, we are making the exchange very easy to use just a click here and there, you get to know, you'll be able to access your account. And that's why we are dedicating this time to our cash telex community to know how to manage their account. Then we say sign up is for creating a new car account. Markets, you are just checking the, the probably the price of that current of that particular time and then sign in you are going to sign in in your account 
that means you already have the account. So for that case, I just go direct to sign in so that I can access my account. My uh, email address is Captain Milbus. Captain Milbus. So I put in the password, but I will not say it louder because it's a secret. It's my password. So I type in CAPTCHA. Hope everyone is following. These are just easy steps to follow. And then we sign in. Yeah, it just opened. So when we access this uh, uh, screen, like you can see, that's where our emphasis is now. You can see. I want us to go direct to our profile. Remember, I talked about the funds page. We talked about the dividends page. Last time we talked about the referral system. We talked about the reward center, the history, and others. Now we're talking, we are going to talk about the profile. We're going to talk about the profile today. We're going to talk about the profile. Yes. When we talk about the when we are talking about the profile, we simply mean the following. We have received very, very many people at the office complaining about the two-factor authentication issue. In the process of uh, changing the phone from one phone to another, or your phone has been stolen, or you get problem with the broken phone, either by the screen, that means you may not be able to access the, the application. That's where we are. I want to tell you, we are going to talk about this factor authentication and then the change password. Why are you talking about this? Because we, we value the security of your account. Many of our clients here, they used the office to open their account. And many of them, they use the, their mobile numbers. There is a password they use. And now we are just close to access uh, to, to, to the end of our journey, where everyone will be, able, will be uh, uh, using his or her, or her uh, 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 account. That means you, you need to have the password known by you, yourself, because it is the part of the security of your money. That means for that scenario and that case when we are at that end, everyone should be mindful about the password. The rights of the password are given to the owner of the account. That's why if you have the receipt where you uh, opened up your account, at times, they write your password on that receipt. This is the time where you need to change the password from that one on that receipt to the security of your own, as in the own of the, the, the account. For that case, we are going to talk about change password. Then for this case, now we are talking about the two-factor authentication. To disable and enable. Remember, we have two of them. These are just under profile. We have the two-factor authentication. If we talk about authentication, that means we are talking about security, giving you uh, rights to access the, that account in particular. That's why we talk, we talk, we, 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 it is called authentication, authenticate something, eh? to allow something to happen. Yes. Now, you can see now disable, disable. That means if I want to change my phone from one to another, for example, 
you bought a new phone. You want to change all everything to the new phone you bought. Remember now we are talking about uh, preparing yourself to change a phone, not uh, being stolen or being, uh, for example, a broken OETC. No, we are talking about the normal process of changing one phone to another. That means you can access your account and disable this. When you disable this, when you click disable, they will ask you the Google Authenticator. Which Google Authenticator you have already on your phone? So you will put it there and then you will be uh, able to disable the factor authenticator. So that means when you are downloading new authenticator application on your new phone, you will not be disturbed when you are accessing your account. That's what we mean by disabling the two factor authentication. Next, then you have the sign in with two factor authentication. This is very tricky. This is very tricky. Several people that have been calling at the office complaining about this. We disable this because you cannot access the funds page when this when the two factor authentication is not disabled, uh, is not enabled. So we have to enable another two sign in with two factor authentication. This is then another layer. At the beginning, that means if you're accessing your account, you need to have the, the two factor authentication we talked about on your phone as an application. Remember those six digits. But for this case, if you fail to uh, uh, keep the authentication properly or the cipher text properly, you will not be able to access the account. However, the first layer will be able to access the account, but you will not be able to download, uh, to withdraw or send. The second, uh, the, this first, this one, you will not be able to access even your account. So remember, we are talking about security. We are talking about security as a very important uh, point in our dealings. Then after that, we are now going to how to change the password. Remember, for example, Captain Milbus, he was the one who presented Cashrex to you. At the end of the presentation, you ended up opening an account which was done by Captain Milbus on your behalf. Captain Milbus was uh, here asking you which password can we use. We are also clear. You can, you can use my mobile number because it's not easy for me to forget. Remember, I get some issues with our client. They get their password and then they come to the office that I forgot the password. Even the person who opened the account was not aware about your password. To solve that, some agree to use their phone numbers. Now this is the right time to change your password. And that's why even now uh, uh, local, uh, local company, the MK mobile money, the Airtel mobile money, they are no longer allowing the date of birth as your password when you are using mobile money. Why? It is just easy for someone to access your account. This is the same way. And that's why we are calling upon our uh, uh, our clients. Please, if you, your password was written on the receipt, that means the person who opened up an account on your behalf he can go to the other receipt, the second receipt, and access your password. Now, 
This is the trick you can use to change your password and then that person at the office, for example, will not be able to access unless given permission. You might not be even the someone at the office, but that person can be your kid, can be your neighbor, can be your friend, and then accesses that uh, receipt. That means he will be able to access your account and get to know each and everything about your account. That's why we are coming up open and clear to everyone. Please, it is very important to change your password at least every two weeks. At least every two weeks you change the password. And it comes clear to you because it's just a click, click away. Why are we uh, encouraging people to change passwords? Even if you're using mobile money, then if you are using, uh, for example, your phone for security purposes, it is encouraged to change passwords at least every time and then. In cash select comes the, uh, 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 a condition. If you want to change the password, simple, you just click to change password. Change password. Change password. Now you know. Now we have the original password and they have the new the new password. We are here. If you come here, you type the original password. For example, this. I will not say it as you know, security issue. Now you are typing the new password. The new password. For example, the new password. The new password. Then you say change. Have you seen? When you change, you can see now account password updated, updated successfully. That means it will log you out automatically. From the from from your account automatically from your account. Now we out of, we are out of our uh, exchange. Now that means I need to log in again, but using now the new password. The new password, and then I cap I I type capture. GI. JN, and then I sign in. Yes, I'm back in my account. I'm back in my account. Now you can see that I've changed from one password to another. That's why I'm encouraging everyone who is here right now. Make sure you know how to change the password because it is very important to keep it a secret with you. Not using the phone number, not using the date of birth, use anything different from that. Because those people who are hacking, the scammers, they know, they just trick you with your name, they trick you with your phone number, they trick you with your date of birth and others. So get a very strong password because we are talking about the strong password because the, that password is, going, is, is keeping a very important asset. It keeps your, uh, your, your, your bank. That's why we encourage you to use the strong one, please. I want to... Uh, end this uh, uh, this training by emphasizing my colleagues here by emphasizing and reminding uh, our Catholic community that our journey is just close. We are just close to our end. Tighten your belt. We appreciate everyone for being part of this.
from where we started from up to where we are now, where we can talk about the different milestones, eh? the different uh, uh, success we have passed through up to now. Remember, we talked about the closure of the Catholic city, Uganda. And now we are talk, talking about the groundbreaking, which is in the, in, the, in, in, the, in the pipeline, the mining, which is the, in the pipeline, very soon to communicate officially. Yes, I want to call upon everyone to be ready for this. And that's why we are coming up with these different trainings, most about training, about security, because the journey, it is just towards the end. Prepare your mind. Get to know your, uh, get to know everything about your account. Get to know everything about uh, uh, concerning your, 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 your account. Why? You are the one controlling your account. This is blockchain. When you get problem with your account, you may fail to solve. We have very many people. They did some mistakes, simple one. They look simple, but they can uh, cost you a lot. Complaining, but they, they, they are not getting the solution as yet. Because it's not just easy. Because the technology we are dealing with is just sophisticated. Thank you so much, my host. I want to give the microphone back to you, Brother Habib Umar. Have the mic, please. Thank you very much, Captain Melvas, for that wonderful session. I would like to call an end to the meeting. Thank you very much for attending. I hope this meeting will help you and everyone that you know that invested with Cash Telex and you help them to access their exchanges and help them to know more about the exchanges. Thank you very much. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and have a good night and a nice weekend. Thank you very much.